A key issue in the upcoming presidential election centers around abortion and a woman's right to choose. Texas is one of several states that has passed a strict abortion ban with medical exceptions opponents argue are confusing. Today, three women who sued the state held a panel discussion in Dallas. Fox Wars Alex Boyer in studio with the story. Alex. Hi, Clarice. You know, they tell me they're embarking on a bus tour to show fellow Texans that they are real people impacted by the state's strict abortion ban. All three said they nearly died trying to fight to get an abortion in Texas. Inside First Unitarian Church of Dallas. It is part of our actual DNA here to advocate for and to lift up the voices of those fighting for the autonomy of their bodies. Three Texas women talked about their deeply personal abortion journey. My babies had anencephaly, a condition where their brains were not developed, and it was 100% fatal. Holly Cunningham, Amanda Zurowski, and Lauren Miller were three of the original plaintiffs in Zurowski versus the state of Texas, the first of its kind legal challenge that sought to provide clarity for doctors and patients experiencing medical emergencies in Texas. The women participated in a roundtable to share their experience battling for reproductive freedom in Texas. The infuriating part is that as we come together and we scream louder and louder about these bans, it seems like Politicians in Texas still aren't doing anything. Lauren Miller recalled having to fly to Colorado when she was extremely ill. She needed an abortion in order to save her twin son's life. When we went through security, you know, I remember just staring down at the terrific floors of Love Field, rolling my shoulders forward, sucking in my stomach, and I was visibly pregnant at that point, hoping that nobody would see us and pull us out of line and ask why I was going to Colorado. The women are part of the Free and Just's Ride to Decide national bus tour. They say they're concerned about a potential national abortion ban depending on who is elected president on November 5th. Abortion is health care and reproductive rights are human rights. This is their first stop. They're trying to steer clear of politics but recognize that's tough to do. There is an election happening this year and I think it would be important if this is an issue that really speaks to you, that you really care about, to educate yourself on the candidates who are pro-choice and, um, you know, show up and vote for them. And the Ride to Decide tour is headed to Austin and San Antonio, where local women like the ones we heard from today will continue sharing their personal stories in hopes of regaining access to abortion care and reproductive rights. Alex, Sorry. thank you.